Churchill Thomas Goldman, a longtime film executive who notably worked for New Line Cinema, died on November 7 in Los Angeles after a long illness. Goldman's work at New Line included founding the distribution arm of the production company, which opened up the New Line office in Beverly Hills. Throughout the 1990s, he was president of marketing and distribution for the company. During his 16-year run at New Line, he oversaw notable films such as The Mask, Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles, Shine, Nightmare on Elm Street, Rush Hour, and Boogie Nights. Goldman was said to have launched multiple careers on both the business and creative sides throughout his time with New Line. He was an active member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences since his induction in 1986, and was also involved with the Motion Picture and Television Fund, which serves as a senior home for those who've worked in the industry. Following Goldman's time at New Line, he worked as a consultant for numerous production companies such as Miramax and Yari Films. Goldman was born on May 1, 1948 and grew up in Philadelphia, graduating from Lower Marion High School in 1966. He went to college at C.W. Post College, Long Island University, graduating in 1970 and subsequently began his career in the film business as a booker for the William Goldman Theatre Company in Philadelphia. In 1978, he became the East Coast distributor for Avco Embassy Pictures in New York City. In 1982, he relocated to Los Angeles with a promotion, elevating to vice president of distribution for Embassy. A true Philadelphia native at heart, Goldman's unhappiness with the quality of cheesesteaks available in Los Angeles led him to open South Street in 2000 alongside film industry colleague Smitty Smith. The cheesesteak and Philadelphia-themed restaurant started with a Westwood location before expanding into additional locations in Hollywood and Burbank, closing down fully in 2015. Goldman's nephew, the musician Stephen Trask also wrote a loving tribute to him on Instagram, detailing how Goldman became an early investor in the rock musical Hedwig and the Angry Inch, which would go on to be a Tony Awards favorite, and was adapted into a movie in 2001.